Good afternoon. We're here at uh, Roy Pidcock BMW in Long Eaton. I'm here with Neil. We're following up on our first podcast. Mark can't join us today because he's obviously far too important. Um, we, um, we've been able to open up the showroom since we last spoke. So on April the 12th, we invited customers back in. How was that, Neil? Fantastic. I've been saying to each and every customer, it's just nice again to have the doors open and actually let them sit on a bike, touch the bike and actually just get back into how we, we like to do it. Um, yeah, so just yeah. A, it's a nicer way of selling rather than yeah. over, over the phone. It's great that we've been able to do it, you know, over the phone or, you know, via the internet, but it's just really nice to be able to get people back in and, uh, yeah, interact with them again, really. Yeah, I know we've had to limit it a little bit, uh, try to make it appointment only, but if people turn up, it's better that they know that they're going to get access. It's not It's not been massively busy. We haven't had throngs of people here, I don't think. No, it hasn't. It, it's, I think it, it could have been a little bit of a culture shock if, if we if we hadn't have controlled it in that manner in terms of you yeah. know, just everyone all at once. But it's been nice. All we've been doing is really encouraging people to you know, get in touch with us before you come down just so we can you know, limit numbers to an extent just to make it manageable for, you know, for ourselves and for customers when they're in here. Yeah, I mean, it's great to be able to give the customers that personal treatment as well. So we've had a few other things happen actually during the couple of weeks since we did the last podcast. And uh, one of the exciting things that we've had is that the uh, new uh, G310s have arrived on site. Yeah, both of them, the, the G310R and the G310 uh, GS, which I, I touched on in a video um, earlier on in the week uh, that we got them. Uh, they look really nice, uh, new for this year, a couple of new colour schemes. We've got the, uh, the rally, rally colour scheme on the GS and then the sports style pack on the 310R. Um, and we've had a lot of interest so far. Yeah, I mean, they look absolutely great. What sort of people do you think these bikes are most suitable for? To be, everyone, to be honest with you, it, it, sometimes I, I look at it and I think to myself, okay, you know, is it, considering the size of the bike, is it more ideal for a, you know, for a learner? Well, yes, we're getting a lot of people that are new to biking yeah. uh, that are asking questions about them. But on the other end of the scale, we can have people that maybe have been on a, a bigger bike, you know, a 1200 GS. Um, that really just want to come down in size a little bit, maybe yeah. towards the weight side of it. Um, but they want, they still want to get on something that's either in appearance or style, very similar to what they've been riding, right. but just more manageable for them. Yeah. And I think within the, you know, with, the, with, with COVID, I think what's, you know, what's been brought about from that really is people that are wanting to, to, to get on something a little bit smaller, maybe for commuting, because they're wanting to stay away from public transport. Yeah, yeah. And th there are two versions, aren't there? There's the GS and the R. So... What, yeah. what's the difference between those two yeah, so it's mainly around style you know the same engine is in both bikes but the gs you know it, it, it is it's styled on an adventure bike right uh, and because of that it, even the you know the, the size of it it's, by means it's not massive but it, you know we, some, we sometimes have people come in and kind of say you know uh, oh i've seen the 750 out there where's the, the you know the 310 gs and we say that is it you know yeah. uh, so it, it comes in a little bit higher than the uh than the 310 r yeah. um uh, with a little bit of different geometry um but what comes with that in terms of the gs uh, is, is the fact that you can, you know, it's ideal for taking it off-road if you've got some nearby right. trails you'd like to, to do it. Whereas the 310R, uh, you know, it's styled on a roadster bike, uh, a little bit shorter, which obviously come, comes in handy sometimes with a, you know, with a slightly shorter person. Um, but both, as I said, both really nice, you know, nice bikes, got a lot going for them. And what, what's the difference between this new 310 and the, and the previous version? The previous ones. Uh, first of all, colours, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe for, for a couple of years. Uh, both the GS and the R, uh, all the colours may have changed slightly. The bike definitely stayed the same, uh, but they're coming this year with um, full LED headlight, um, oh, right. LED indicators, and LED rear light. So they've you know just up the game ever so slightly on the electronic side of yeah. it. Um, but, uh, but as I said, also come out with these really snazzy new colour schemes to make it look nice as well. All right, yeah. I mean, they do look great, and and as you say, I, I was surprised that the size of the, uh, in particular, the the GS is quite a tall bike. You know, I'm a bit vertically challenged, personally, and um, and it is quite tall. Uh, but there is a lower seat that you can get there. Oh, right. <laughs> Just to add into that, I mean, this is one of the it. things with BMW as yeah. well. I think they've got more different seat heights than any other manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, on, on well, while we talk about the GS, I mean, adventure bikes in general, they, they are getting taller. Yeah. Um, and we're not necessarily getting taller ourselves. So it's one well, of those. I'm definitely you know, not getting taller. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe shorter. Yeah. Uh, but BMW, you know, they are factoring in that. So you know, certainly on the bigger bikes, not necessarily with the three tens. You know, um, you know, you can get lower lower frame models. Yeah. Um, and, a, and a variety of different seat heights, but as I say, with regards to that uh, that GS, for example, you know, it, it, the, the ride height's 850 mil, but you can get a, a lower profile seat which takes it down 30 mil, right. so it just makes it a little bit more uh, yeah. Yeah, 
contract and to need to the shortest person if they need it. That was nice. The train went past just at the just right time there. That, yes, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so we. Um, so that's the the three tens. Mm. Uh, the down we've got. One of each in the showroom now. Are they available for test ride? Um, we're in the process of looking at uh, getting getting one or both on for uh, for demonstration. Yeah. Um, with regards to um, offers, BMW Finance are offering 0% um, oh, 0% APR finance on, on, on finance agreements oh, right. with them. So yeah, it does excellent. Make, make there are a few effective. decent offers on, aren't there? I mean, on the uh, I know on the S1000 RR and the um, RRM Sport, there are uh, 500 pound deposit contributions on those bikes as well. Yeah, and they really are selling well. Um, yeah. at this time of year because of that again I, I would think certainly as we're coming into the uh, you know the riding the season, season the warmer season yeah. for it that yeah. people are looking into the, you know, the sports bike side of it yeah. so for BMW to be, to be backing it up with a, a nice finance deposit contribution like that yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd definitely say you know we're interested in getting in touch and we'll see what we yeah, do yeah I mean availability is a bit limited isn't it well. yeah but just because they're, they're selling so well so yeah. it's a case of get onto it nice and quick if you're, if you're interested yeah so um Again, you know, if you if you want to make an appointment to see um, Neil or Mark or Dave, the sales guys down here, uh, don't forget to ring on 01159462233, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can uh, watch this video as many times as you like. <laughs> but we've also got the videos of all all our bikes on there, new and used bikes we've got on there. We've got lots of good stuff for you to look at, um, and obviously follow us on Facebook as well. Um, so we'll be doing a few more of these uh, podcasts as things uh, as things progress. We'll make it a regular feature. Yeah, keep an eye out for us. You know all the new content that we try to put in. We'll try and uh, we'll try and cover all bases. Yeah. Um, and again, if you've got any any particular questions that you like answering, um, either leave them in the comments or get in touch with us directly. Yeah, only these nice co nice comments there, won't you? <laughs> we'll get Mark involved again in the next one. Uh, we've missed him today, but. Um, We'll be doing another one in about a week or two's time, so keep your eye out for that.